how to feed in an ergo baby only carrier. Well, <laughs> breastfeeding in a baby carrier is much more of an art than a science. How successful you are at feeding your baby in a carrier will depend on a huge range of factors. Um, things like your height compared to your baby's height, what position they want to latch on and loads of other things. Now, the first thing I want to make really clear um, is that this isn't something you should try from day one. You want to make sure that baby is comfortable and confident feeding and is latching on well before you try and combine that with baby wearing. In an ideal scenario, the best position to feed your baby is sat on a sofa with your arms well supported, lots of chocolate biscuits, a nice cup of tea and your mobile phone. <laughs> I know life doesn't always work like that. So if you need to feed on the go, this is usually the best way to do it in an ergo baby carrier. You're going to need to make sure, first of all, that you have a top or a shirt that you can unbutton or undo and pull down because pulling a top upwards is really quite tricky when you've got this waistband on. So what you're going to be doing is loosening these shoulder straps here, probably loosening slightly more on the side you're going to feed on. Loosen the waistband as well on both sides and drop your baby down into a position where you can then lift your breast to their mouth and encourage them to hold on with their hands as well. As I say, this is usually going to become more viable once your baby is a couple of months old. So please, please, please don't worry if this isn't manageable to begin with. Now, this is not a hands-free feeding option. You're going to want to make sure that you're supporting your baby with one hand um, and you're likely going to be supporting your breast with the other hand as well. So this is a sort of an interim feeding position. You probably won't want to stay here for hours and hours <laughs> for those cluster feeds. But if you're caught short at the playground or in the queue at the supermarket and you need a quick feed, this is simply how you do it. So once baby's finished feeding, it's super important to reposition them. So make sure you bring them back nice and high and tighten the carrier around them. It's not safe to let your baby fall asleep, however tempting it may be, in that drop down feeding position. So there we go. If you want any more tips and tricks on breastfeeding in baby carriers, um, please check out the guide we have on our website at wheremybaby.co.uk or drop us a message below.